this week in Mel's Mech Shop, it's time to try my hand at mecking a beast boss on Squigasaur. From the moment GW first released this model, I knew I had to have it to lead out my goth beast snaggers. There's something about the sheer brutality of it, that in particular the Modrog build brings. I couldn't pass up for my goths. But there was just a little niggle at the back of my orky brain that just didn't quite click with the actual Squigasaur sculpt. Whilst the Squigasaur looks freaking awesome, for me it just didn't look big enough or terrifying enough to get them beakies quaking in their boots. No, don't hit me, please! I'm sorry, please don't hit it me! It was then that I saw this terrifying looking beast, also from GW, but from the Age of Sigma Crawl Boys line, and it's called a scum dreg, I think. Now, this truly instills a sense of fear in all that behold it, and would be a perfect mount for my beast boss. As luck would have it, my brother kindly bought me the Beast Boss on Squigasaur for my birthday. What a lucky git I am. Cheers, bro. So that was settled. A Mozrog Scumdreg mashup it was gonna be. So I set about building both the kits, but leave them in various sub assemblies. I knew I wanted Mozrog as my Beast Boss, so I built him up. But half his torso is sculpted at the saddle of the Squigasaur, so I carefully removed the saddle from the back of the Squigasaur with my craft knife. This was a pretty fiddly process, but wasn't too hard to cut, as luckily the plastic is pretty thin around the saddle. I put aside the Squigasaur for use in another orky build. More on that in a future video. With the carefully removed saddle, the rest of Mozrog's lower body could be reunited with his upper body and mounted atop the beast. Just held in place with Blue Tack at first to get the position just right. With Beast and Boss both pretty much set, it was then time to try and tie the two together by getting the beast looking a bit more 40k, rather than swamp dwelling stinker. I removed some of the spikes from the beast's head armour and started building up some crude armour panels on its side, out of one mil thick plastic card and plastic lollipop sticks, that I imagine had been looted from blown out vehicles found out on the battlefield and hastily bolted on to give some sort of protection and intimidation factor. Also built up some armour plates on the beast's exposed neck, in front of the saddle, using more plastic card and a couple of spike plates from the Shop Jump Dragster kit, I think. I wanted there to be no doubt whose clan this beast belonged to. It was time for a banner, so I made a huge goth raging bull horned skull glyph out of plastic card and mounted on his back for all to see. With banner, beast and boss boxed, it was on the basin. Damn, that's a lot of bees. I used a piece of the Junkyard Scatter Terrain from the Kill Team Octarius box set to give it a bit of height and a more intimidating presence on the battlefield. Construction complete, it was a quick prime with high coat matte black spray paint. Then cracked on with painting. First up with the beast's skin, a base coat of Deathwell Forest with a shade of Agrax Earthshade, then dry brushed with Ogryn Camo and Creed Khaki, getting lighter with each colour. Then picked out some of the joints like the elbows and ankles with Rakar Flesh. After the beast flesh was looking good, it was a dry brush with lead belcher of all the armour panels and any other metallic parts. The cloth under the armour was picked out with corn red and highlighted with Evil Sun Scarlet. All the leather was first base coated with Rhinox Hide and then shaded with a mix of Agrax Earthshade to Snakebite Leather Contrast paints and a few highlights with Steel Legion Drab. After that it was on the Mozrog, painted up his skin starting with a really dark mix of Warpstone Glow and Mournfang Brown, then highlighted up using a bit of Ushapti Bone mixed in greater amounts for each layer. A nice bit of weathering using Vallejo Rust over Typhus Corrosion Technical Paint. And that's it, Beast Boss on Squigasaur, kit bash done.
Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video and build. If you did, give the video a like and consider subscribing for more Orky builds. Stay safe everyone and catch you on the next one.